Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai, and my name is Sam, and today we're back playing Destroy the Monoliths. It's been a while since I've played this, but the, uh, the developer, um, R R uh, Radiant Sloth, um, he sent me a co uh, an early access code for this game. So the game doesn't come out until November 2nd, I believe. Yeah, November 2nd. So, you know, we you know about like a couple more weeks until it comes out. But, like I said, he gave me a, a key to play the game early. So that's what we're going to be. We're going to be checking it out today. Um, let's see. I never really used the walls, the laser turrets, I used those, but... So I just figured, um... I would use, I would, I would kind of switch it up, right? Um, I would switch up, uh, I would go for a new world, because I could just, you know, continue my old world, but... You know, with the game being recently, like, fully launched, it's out of the demo, I was like, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just let's start anew. Um, some elite minions which are stronger, less vulnerable to status effects, and drop resources when killed, trapped. Those are more frequent and contain elite minions. Yeah, let's not go for any of those. See, that was my old world, but. Let's, uh, let's just get started. Increases base attack damage. Uh, increases shield cooldown and speed. Increases max health of building. Increases genetic attack damage. See, I always like more max health for buildings. Um. Oh yeah, this, okay, that's the third. Oh wow, this thing is actually really cool. Here's a lunch. Okay, it's been a while since I've played this game, but we'll we'll get used to it. We'll figure it out as we go along. I'm gonna relearn how to play this. That's also another reason why I was like, let's start a new world, because I was like. Yeah, I should probably learn, relearn how to play this. Um, okay, so there's, yeah, so yeah, there's enemies coming from that direction. Um, I mean, yeah, if they want to build the platform for me, that's perfectly okay with me. Like, y'all are more than welcome to uh, build a platform. I just have to be careful not to uh, change their path. It's like, easily could accidentally do that. Because I could actually be one thing that they could add. They could make it so that, like, you can see the path that the enemy's gonna take on the next wave. I think that would be a pretty interesting one to see, like a pretty interesting uh, change that they could make. Maybe there's some, you know, complications for doing that, I'm not sure, but I feel like that would be a pretty good upgrade, like a really good addition to the game, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, the developer doesn't have to listen to my opinion.
Oh, where is it going? Okay. Just sit here. The those guys should be able to take care of uh, take care of that for the most part. This might change their path, but there's a lot of stuff here that I want, so I'm gonna grab it anyway. Then again, I'm guessing that they probably take the shortest path possible. So actually, yeah, that would make more sense that if it wouldn't change the path because they already have like basically a straight line to my uh, um, to my base. So for them to kind of deviate from that path wouldn't really make much sense. Sonic track. A sonic trap attacks the enemy stepping on the trap with a sonic push. Uh, healing marks heal 50 additional health points. Ward blocks are highlighted on the mini map. Uh, site on mini map. So it highlights these things? Is that what it's talking about? Maybe I should have gone for more line of sight. That might have been a better idea, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, and I also have a dash, that's right, I forgot I also have that. <clears throat> you know, let's, let's open it up. Yeah, you guys are just gonna, so you guys can just kind of directly get hit by these guys. Oh, and I can't place it that <laughs> Shoots bubble bullets that attract enemies. Ballistic missile dealing poison damage. Rinse a few times before it's blown. So, so it attracts the enemies? Interesting. Yeah, what if I just build a bunch of these sonic traps around? Like, they have to go over them, right? They don't really have a choice not to. I guess the laser guys could be a little annoying, especially for my turns, but... I think it should mostly be fine. Okay, never mind, it's not mostly fine, it would be really annoying. I'm gonna need a, a, a long range turret because, like, while I like the Sonic guys, it's bubble bullets. Okay. Oh, okay. So 
Is there anything else I haven't picked up yet? No. Bubble turrets is actually a pretty good decision to go for them. Because, I mean, they're not a super long range turret, but 7 meters is still still pretty big. I mean, I, I mean 2 is pretty big as well, but, you know, I mean, 7 is, that's way above average. But, I mean, I, I mean, anyways, um, uh, I'll see myself. Okay, nice. Got some, got some new stuff. So yeah, let's go here now. Uh, neutronic reaction, decreases the reload duration of building actions, increases the mining power. I'm gonna go with overclocking. Whoa, that increased mining power is extremely noticeable. Look at how much faster this is. So how many different games is my friend gonna play? My gosh. Okay. Let me get rid of these guys before they wreck too much havoc. Um, and if they're going this direction, then I could probably place down like a bubble turret. Now I'll open it, open the space up a little bit so the bubble turret has enough room to shoot. Oh, there's a second monolith. I should have paid attention to that. Have those guys there for now. Get your guys' health out, okay? Could be better. Look at that, that's doing, they're doing pretty good. Should be good to go here soon. Just kind of trying to gather as many resources as I can for the time being. Um, Cause I really want to like make sure that these, the mortars and stuff that I build, you know, don't immediately get destroyed. So I want to make sure I have enough resources to build a bunch of bubble turrets. Uh oh. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. 
Okay, weakener, cooler. I don't really need a healer. Weakens enemies, attack damage. Have for a brief moment. I'll go with weakener, I guess. Trying to make sure that they still have a path that they can take. I also want to make sure they're not gonna be able to get near my bombers. Track stations also inflict a brief weakness effect to enemies. As long as it confuses enemies, it takes longer to reload. I'm just gonna go for that. Bubble turrets are actually doing extremely well for for some reason. I don't know how, why they're doing so well, but I'm quite surprised to say the least. Like I was not expecting them to do this well, but I mean, I guess they have pretty good damage and. Laser arrows, five projectiles with a ballistic trajectory. Tra 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 wow. Tra trajectory. There we go. Bounce off obstacles and explode after a short while. We'll go with laser arrows. Since they have 170 mining power, I don't... Okay. Overclocking! Yeah, we'll go for more overclock. Um, yeah, let's just destroy all this stuff because, you know, it's unnecessary at this point to have all these turrets and everything. So now we can... We can kind of open this area up a little bit more. We put some turrets and stuff like that down. I love the Tinkerer. So. I really think I only probably need one Tinkerer. I don't think I need one. I 
let's see. We need to drop one more healing orb. Ooh, yeah. Because that'll help out my tinkerer. Nice. Um. Uh, you will not be able to select this feature. Okay. Okay. Lush Ar Ar Archipelago. <laughs> Did I pronounce that right? Or uh, Scrap Valley. Yeah, each of these have three monoliths. Um, uh, gives us max health of buildings, gives mass base attack damage. Chunk damage against monoliths, max health of buildings. I just feel like the reinforced walls is like the best one to go for. Okay. So for the time be okay. Okay. Wow. Well, I don't- I have barely any resources and I'm already having to face enemies. That is wonderful. And there's a monolith right there, right on my doorstep. Oh my gosh. This is a little worrying. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna immediately put down a bubble turret and... I'm also gonna put down a tinkerer. Just in case. Because that should keep that thing alive while I'm mining. And that that's at least what I'm hoping. What are these things? Are you serious, Mr. Bubble Turret? You, are, are you really struggling against these guys? Maybe you need more of a line of sight. Oh my gosh. These guys are freaking everywhere, I swear. Look at this! What is this? guys now I can barely progress because I'm getting swarmed by tons of enemies there's very little resources in this world just try to go directly for these things because this is what I'm what I need the most of right now. Okay here is the other monolith. The third one is I'm assuming up further. So that's kind of where I keep seeing enemies come from is like up that way.
Okay. One of these is gonna have enemies in it. I already know it. Oh no. Okay. Actually, quite surprised. This one has to have an enemy in it, right? Wow, I'm getting lucky with these. Okay, I'll take it. And very lucky. Oh no. Well, of course, there's a guy down here. Was that a guy that I created? It might have been. Nope. Well, more or less it was, I guess. In a way, it was because of me. How many games are you gonna play, bro? Okay. The Tinkerer is really the only thing keeping these things alive right now. I am not complaining at all about that. Laser turrets. Go for like a facilitator. Facilitator. Um. I was kind of yeah. I mean, I kind of was thinking of putting it somewhere in here. I was hoping for like somewhere. Let me destroy this thing real quick. Yeah, I wanted to put that thing like right there. And then I can put that back. Triple flaw. Hits on vulnerable enemies inflict triple damage and step double. Attractive stations also inflict a brief weakness. I guess we'll go for vulnerable because I think that's what this guy does, right? It's Ring Ram inflicts 115% attack game zones when dashing through them. Vulnerability effect. I mean, just for one more hit, increases effect range. Ooh. Well, does that. Is that included on these guys? Yeah. So now they hit. Now they shoot 8 meters instead of. Wow, instead of just 7. That. That's pretty massive, I must say. That's actually pretty crazy range buff. Oh my gosh, those guys are annoying. These guys are... All of these guys are actually just annoying. All of the enemies are just... health at. Let's give you a tinker. I think you could use a tinker. We can destroy that now. Oh, no. Sir, get out of here. Okay. Do I want to put them, like, back here? Yeah, I mean, I could build up, like, a little area back here. And then, when I'm ready, just kind of unleash... Unleash everything on them. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Because they're not gonna, you know, obviously be going back here, so... I could start building up some, like, turrets and stuff, and, and, like, so that I'm ready for them whenever I decide to unleash, unleash the power. 
house. There you go. Okay. So we'll put down the turrets for now. And then... Obviously, we'll get a tinker. For him. And then, we just need some more resources. Once we get the resources, then be all right. We'll be in a good position. Oh my gosh, there's just more and more of these guys spawning, I swear. Maybe I could have used that healer. Oh no, one of these guys. Okay. Well, without a further ado, let's just place down some of these, uh, one of those things. Some of the bombers. Because, I mean, really, no matter which direction they go, they're going to get shot at and hopefully destroyed for the most part, and I am dead. Probably get rid of like that, and then I could have a second one right there. Because you know these guys are there's pretty strong guys that are coming from that direction, so it's kind of why I'm thinking I'll put those there. And then I could do like this. And then, so yeah, now I have three of them. And that Tinkerer is really putting in work. I love the Tinkerer. Tinkerer is awesome. Anything that's gonna, like, repair my turrets, I love it. Yeah, we're gonna go for more reinforced walls. Lowest player speed and range of the booster. Regularly repels enemies in range. Ooh. That could be good. Okay, now I can destroy all you guys. And I could kind of remove that. Oh, that, yeah, okay. I really, okay. Um, that's actually terrifying. Because they can, de if they destroy the, like, the walls and stuff, then they, they could, like, create more, oh my gosh. That's a little scary. They almost have like a self-replicating army. Like if they learned how to... Um... Learned how to destroy things for the sake of like... Making more of themselves? Oh my gosh, that would be horrible. See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. I'm getting out of here. I need a heal.
Yeah, that guy took a bit of a beating. Quite a bit of a beating, but... It's fine. I'm just gonna really try to surround them with the turrets. I think that's probably my best move. Because I feel like that's my best. Treasures contain a bit more resources. Or is yield. Ooh. Ores yield a healing orb? So that's every every single one. Well the healing orb only gives like two health, but that's still pretty interesting. Never mind, it only gives like one health actually. But that's still cool, I would say. I don't think that's like a bad upgrade by any means. Click this feature. Respond with ourselves when we want killed. Oh my gosh. That's a pretty strong buff to to enemies if I were to go for it. I think I'm gonna call it here. This has been a lot of fun. I mean I honestly, in like 40 minutes, I'm surprised that we got through three of these worlds, but we'll have to try out, we'll probably get through like two or three more worlds in the next one. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Destroy the Monoliths. If you did, um, don't forget to like the, like the video and subscribe to the channel, it means the world to me. And yeah, don't forget to check out the game. So currently, you can only play the demo still, but the demo is full of content. I mean, you might as well. If you're enjoying the game so far, just watching me play, I mean, you can get your hands on the demo and it is genuinely, it's not, from, from what I've seen so far, the demo is not far off of what the full game is like. Obviously, there's probably a lot more to it that I just haven't gotten to yet. But basically, what I'm trying to get at is the demo is is extremely full of content. And you do not want to miss out. I mean, it is so much fun. Game, like I said, comes out full. Re the full release is November 2nd. You know, set a reminder. You know, wish list the game on Steam. It'll it'll tell you. And yeah, my name is Sam. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.